So we're here to figure out if it's hello fresh or goodbye fresh. Hey, 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 kids, and welcome to our YouTube channel. We're just two girls just being bros on YouTube. So if you couldn't tell, we're in the kitchen, and you know when we're in the kitchen, rarely <laughs> anything good ever happens. Nothing goes right when we're in no. the kitchen. No. Um, Can I pop this in the microwave? No. You need to keep the ingredients in the bowl. <laughs> We're never doing this again. <laughs> Every time something goes wrong with our cooking, we always come back. We always come back. And today what we're doing is something very exciting, guys. Most of the time, when you see people cook HelloFresh, it's because they have a sponsorship. Yeah. I can guarantee you and tell you right this second, we don't have a sponsorship. <laughs> we tell you the truth and we say, yeah. I, we, I, I paid <clears throat> my real money exactly. for my five jobs in May. Exactly. Uh, we did spend money and we, you know what because I see all these ads exactly and I want to see let's put it to the test Exactly, I watch so much YouTube and all these youtubers they have the hell of our sponsorship and I'm like, okay Fair, what if you're lying? Because exactly. we're getting paid to say it. We're not getting paid. We're not, not at all. We're paid. down. We're down bad. <laughs> so this is a real review So we're here to figure out if it's mm -hmm. hello fresh or good goodbye fresh so you come along with us on the, today's special adventure. This is a real test, so we're gonna see if Pillow Fresh is like idiot proof. Yeah. For me, not for you. For you, yeah, I was gonna say, I was like, no. I'm a great chef. It's burnt. <laughs> so today we're making baked sun-dried tomato pesto penne and ricotta with DIY garlic bread and balsamic roasted tomatoes. So this is what we're making. It's gonna look just like that when we're done, guys. Exactly, you know us. Yeah. You know us and our talents. So this is the goal for today. I think we could do it. Guys, I also wanna clarify, I know how to make pasta now. I've seen so many people do this. The concept seems great. Like they give you all the stuff in the right portions you need. The instructions are there. Like we should be able to follow instructions. Yeah, we should do We should, we should, we should be should. able to. Theory. But then we also follow the instructions. For the gingerbread house. Mm -hmm. the back. So it comes in a box with a bunch of bags because I ordered a bunch of them. But then, because I bought three meals, mm -hmm. they gave me just like a clove garlic, just free, free willy. Mm -hmm. And then this was outside also, just loose. But yeah, so now we're gonna take a look and unpack everything to see what we got. Okay. okay. What do we have first? It looks like the ciabatta bun. Two ciabatta buns. Ciabatta. Check. I'm assuming that's basil. Baby spinach. Baby spinach. I don't like spinach. Fun fact. I love spinach. I don't like tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes. Parmesan cheese. Shredded Parmesan cheese. The pasta. The pasta. The ricotta. An onion. onion. A little onion. Right from the ground. <laughs> Straight from the ground. <laughs> Um, they actually write in the in instructions. They're like, actually, just go to your like. They like give you directions. They're like, there's actually an onion in your in your backyard. backyard. They plant it for you. Yeah. Tomato sauce, balsamic glaze. Oh, okay. I hate balsamic vinegar, but <laughs> these are the goods. And then our our loose garlic and our tomato pesto. Let's start by seeing what this stuff we need. Bust out. Bust, bust out. <laughs> what do we need to bust out? Two baking sheets, a large oven-proof pan. Do you? What's that mean? A pan that you can put in the oven. What's that mean? No plastic handle. All metal. Like a... So imagine a pan that you put on the stove, but now you put it in... <gasps> You're gonna need me the right filter for this. Okay. Hello Fresh! Who are you catering this to? Not to be rude, if I don't have time to go and purchase my own ingredients, to look up a cookbook to find a freaking uh, recipe, why do I have an oven-proof pan? Why is that okay for you to do? This is definitely health and safety. <laughs> this is definitely following the protocols. Time to get started? Let's do it, let's jump into it. Start here. Before starting, preheat the oven to 450 Fahrenheit. Excellent. Oh, also we have all our things. Oh, yeah, our tools. We have our tools. Our oven safe pan. Yeah. This is not what they intended. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remove What's next? Two tablespoons of butter from fridge and set aside to come to room temperature. Where's our butter? Yeah, interesting. Hey, 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 Hello Fresh. Hey, Hello Fresh. Where's our, where's our butter? Hey. Interesting. Where's our butter? This seems to be coming from my fridge, unless, my unless HelloFresh has come into my house and planted this butter in my fridge. Wait, so you're on, sh you're on thin ice HelloFresh. Straight one is giving me loose basil pesto. 
<laughs> Trick number two. Excuse making me, me <laughs> is making me use my own butter. What if I didn't what if I didn't have butter? So I was taking a rest. She's yeah, she's, she's overworked. Right. Okay. Next, add, this seems always a lot when I say this, add 10 cups of water and two teaspoons of salt to a large pot, cover and bring to a boil. Hey, HelloFresh, are you paying my water bill too? <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. And on top of that, you make me dig up the onion from my backyard. <laughs> it's a dry ricotta. I don't know anything about cheese. Yeah, me neither. 10 cups? That says it seems too much for pasta. How many cups did you put in there? Two. That, I don't know if this thing's gonna, it will. I don't know if it can but handle I, 10 cups. I don't think 10 is right. Look at the amount of pasta. It's barely any. 10 cups of water. That's excessive. And then they say use same for four people. Why? Oh. Uh, you just want to show off your shredded arms. Yeah. Okay, step right. one, done. done. Okay, what's next? Okay, you're gonna ride over this stuff. Oh my gosh. Wash and dry all your produce. What? Oh, hold on. Like, aren't they supposed to do that for us? First of all, the fact that that wasn't step number one fills me with rage. Yeah, our pasta's gonna be done boiling. Our, our pasta's gonna be all boiled. <laughs> Second of all, now first you have me use 10 liters of my own, 10, 10 liters. <laughs> 10 cups of my own water, you, without you paying my water bill. Now I need to use my water to wash the produce? Yeah. That's a dirty onion. That's, Oh my this. gosh. No, you're gonna wash all day. I'm filled with rage. I don't have time to wash these. Can I wash my things now? Rinse. Rinse, rinse the water away. I mean, like, yeah, there's probably pesticides on there, but like. Probably. We there eat, definitely we eat is. More. The main reason I don't cook. Uh huh. And just the main reason I just don't eat fruit and vegetables. Yeah. I hate the prep work. I yeah. hate rinsing it and I. I hate cutting it like with a passion, so I yeah. just don't need that. It smells delish though. Mm -hmm. The basil, I'm not gonna lie, I love basil. I love basil. Yeah, I love yeah. herbs. Yeah? I love herbs too. Who's herb? Ah. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Oh my gosh. Step one, cook penne and roast tomatoes. Okay, add penne to boiling water. Not boiling yet. Um, okay, meanwhile, have tomatoes. We can do that in the meantime. Add tomatoes to parchment lined baking sheet. Drizzle with half balsamic glaze. Okay, so. I'm not gonna lie, I hate cooked tomatoes. <laughs> I don't know why I chose. It's because this was the best recipe of them all. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't know until you just taste it finished. I know I hate cooked tomatoes. You don't know that. Do I have all the tomatoes? Yeah. It kind of feels like a lot of tomatoes, no? See, they look so good, right? Taste? Mm. Oh, questionable. Well, now our ratio is gonna be off. <laughs> Add tomatoes to parchment line baking sheet, drizzle with half the balsamic glaze, then season with salt and pepper, then toss to coat. Huh? Where's the salt and pepper? <laughs> it's raining balsamic. Oh my gosh. And then roast in the top of the oven until tomato skin starts to blister and tomatoes soften slightly, eight to 10 minutes. But they'll be in pain if they blister. <laughs> why, why did you tell me to use half the glaze? No, half the glaze is on the paper. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so okay. now we pop them in the yeah. fridge. <laughs> this is like it's starting to boil, but we need to mm. actually get it to a rolling boil. Okay. Peel and cut half the onion into a quarter inch pieces. Whole onion for four. Do we do so half the onion for us? I guess. Or do I just do Why didn't they specify for us, huh? That's what I mean. So is all this pasta for four? No. So we're doing two? We're, we're doing four. What? Do we just do all of it? Yeah. What? Yeah, all okay. the pasta, yeah. So for four? Yeah. Wait, no, no you do, what's it wrong? Do I cut, peel it first? Can I peel it? No, you cut it first. Yeah, you actually cut it first because it makes it easier. You cut off the ends. Okay. Okay, so this is a good boil. So fun fact, you actually turn down the water to save on your heating bill. Okay, let's see if it overflows. No, we're good. See, I told you. Not yet. But th we did not need that much water. Do you have a thing to That's stir with? Do you have a thing to stir with? I know, but I'm, I'm talking to HelloFresh. I don't know why they're telling me 10 cups of water. We could have done with like three. Kidding, I think it's because we cook it with the water later. Yeah, this is how I do it. I cut the, the buds first so I can peel it. Then you peel it? Then you peel it. My hands are gonna smell like my hands. That's okay. Is it? I only I only peel it first because I hate it when you cut it and then the little little pieces go on the onion, mm. and I don't want onion skin. 
on my onion. Oh, this is a spicy one. I think you'll cry. My eyes? Yeah. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, guys. I never cried from an onion. Because you've never cut an onion. <laughs> oh, this is a spicy one. I think it'll get you once you cut it for reals. You feel the onion? Not yet. I feel it. <laughs> Half? Yeah. Peel and cut half the onion into quarter inch pieces. So like just dice it. Oh my god. Oh. Just a quick question. <laughs> Have you ever diced anything? It's been cooked. Okay, I'm starting to feel it. But I don't know if it's gonna make me cry. A few moments later. Oh I, it's gonna make me cry. <laughs> You're crying already. When you looked up to say that, your eyes were glistening. I didn't feel it though. You never do. <laughs> She's just getting so emotional. Oh my gosh. You're just so sad. I love I'm pretty sure this is I'm pretty sure that's a steak knife. <laughs> I think so. It's all around it though. Nice. Doesn't it sting? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think it'd get. I don't know why. Do you think you're immune? One time I did get immune. I used to cut so many onions that I literally got immune. When you started saying it was spicy, I felt nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna just hit it. You're just like mildly abusing it now. <laughs> Have you finished that yet? You know what, Roxanne? <laughs> what? I've had enough. I'm kidding. That was taking advantage of my tears. Oh, of course, of course. All right, so next peel and mince the garlic. So are we doing extra garlic? Yeah. One teaspoon. I'm doing three cloves. Okay. I don't care how many teaspoons of it is. It is. So this is for the garlic bread. We need garlic. Oh yeah. We need garlic for the garlic bread. This is fine. Oh, oh okay. tomatoes are ready. Tomatoes are ready. I'll grab them. They look like they're supposed to. I think so. They look blistered. Yeah. They look like they're in pain. Are you gonna do the smash technique? Yeah. Oh yeah. Did you, do you have a mincer? Nope. Didn't think so. <laughs> Hold on, you didn't even wash, you didn't even rinse the onion peels off. You know how I feel about the onion peels. Sorry, sorry. Deep rage. Okay, no warning. <laughs> warning, I'm cooking. <laughs> Do you know why you smash it? No. It's because you need the chemical reaction of the <sighs> the juices to mix with the flush. Oh. Red summer, so like that's why you do that. I never do that. Yeah. Watch everyone at home start like, this you make garlic, did you make garlic? <laughs> I can tell it's getting a little more cooked. And then we're finally chopping the basil. Okay. So I guess I'll do that. Okay, this is ready to go. Why are you crying? What? Like, we're just <laughs> cooking. Because I'm just garlic cooking. girl. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even cut the edge. <laughs> stinks so bad. <laughs> Hello, Fresh, please sponsor. <laughs> please. <laughs> okay. That's next. Big You're saying okay, like this was a bit. <laughs> this is I real. Have so much pain. <laughs> I can't even see. It looks like a lazy eye. Okay, Victory's finally I'm chopping the basil. You don't need the stick, right? I don't think so. I think it's just the leaves. Okay, ideally you would like gather it as a bunch and then like, yeah. Watch for your thumb. You were so close. Oh, I love basil. Mm. This is the right recipe for us. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, I hate cooked tomatoes. <laughs> Cheese, because we know milk goes so good in our body. Okay, I hate balsamic vinegar. I don't like tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes. I don't like spinach, fun fact. I finally chopped anymore. I mean, I think that's as good as we're gonna get with a steak knife. <laughs> you can only expect so much with a steak knife. Stir together two tablespoons of softened butter. Yeah, the butter we worked hard and had in our fridge. One tablespoon of basil and half a teaspoon of garlic, okay? I'm trying to think. I think it should be cooked by now. Let me taste yeah, it. Mmm. Cooked to perfection. So take three quarters. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not letting you do that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it, your thumb was so... We need to get... When we start making money, we're getting your, you insured. Like, we're getting your body insured. Don't worry. What have I ever made? <laughs> Sorry, you, you were saying something. When have you ever... Stop, Carol! <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're so aggressive. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. 
Okay, don't use all the garlic. Can we get it extra? Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. I think so. Okay, that looks combined enough, right? Add remaining basil and ricotta to another small bowl. Season with eighth of a teaspoon salt and pepper to taste and stir to combine set aside. Mmm, look at that ricotta. <laughs> and then stir, 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 stir. 35 minutes, it's definitely, okay. it's definitely been longer. This clip alone has been eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. Woo woo. Okay. Heat large oven proof pan over medium heat. No, if you don't have an oven proof pan, use large nonstick pan. So what? So hello fresh, why do we start with that? Why are you telling me to pull out the pan first? What if I went out and bought one? And then now you're telling me I don't need one? Hey Roxanne, this sounds like you're going. Um, when hot, add a tea. Oh, where's the oil? Interesting. It's not, it's not hot yet. You have it at five, crank it up. It said medium heat. <laughs> then you turn it to medium heat. Let's get sturdy. <laughs> Onion time. Don't cry. I would never. Okay, so soften lightly for three to four minutes. This is the first time we're cooking together. Like cooking, cooking. Cooking, you're cooking. right. Yeah, we we, we baked the gingerbread and then you instructed me to bake. But yeah, this is this is our first each other. each other. Yeah. This is the, so this might be together. great. This might be beautiful. This is this, this might be exactly. This might be. Okay, so this is starting to burn. So we're gonna have the garlic and move on with our lives. Garlic. And then we move on with our lives. Tomato sauce base. So that thickens, and then add the penne and reserved pasta water. Increase heat to medium high and bring to simmer. Then add the, the, the spinach. Yeah, we're, our 35 minutes is <laughs> it's cutting close. We have like 20 seconds to finish the whole dinner. I'm a little like. This is a cup and a third. A three quarter cup? No. <gasps> okay. I believed you when you gave me that line. Because I know you saw the three quarter cups. cups. <laughs> what do we do? I'm just run with that. Okay. <laughs> Can I have a soup. <laughs> Oops. That's hilarious. Okay, okay, guys, that one's on us. Yeah, yeah. That's not a HelloFresh problem. That's no, a victory no, no. problem. But you also didn't catch me. I know, I know. And I also that's did say me. that seems too much. But I just, you know, victory you didn't realize. Pasta soup, anyone? Should I prep the garlic bread? Wait. Yeah, sure. Why not? This is why you lost cooked. <laughs> this exact reason is why you lost cooked. I not. Okay. Our soup is lessening. Listen, if I cook enough water out, we're fine. Okay, so we just cook this until the spinach wilts. This is kind of a small pan. <laughs> Fill the water in it. We put two liters of water. Almost. I do hate leafy greens in my pasta. I don't know why I went I with this love again. Leafy greens in the pasta. I hate it. It doesn't mix. I don't like the te the textures. Don't make sense. How's it going over there? I think I could have done with more butter. <laughs> Break it up, baby. We're getting ready. We're evaporating that water. Heck yeah. Goodbye. Oh, oh. oh, we have to put this in the oven still, though. That's what I'm saying. Oh my god. How is this a 35-minute recipe? I'm thickened slightly. But it's thickening. It, it, it was a super layer. It was. It's like it was like it was straight water. Yeah. This is getting this is thicker. Like you can see how it falls off, not like all like water. Mm-hmm. You still have a little bit of ways to go, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But add sun dried tomato pesto and a half the parmesan. And season with salt and pepper. That see, now that's so you gotta trust me. I know what I'm doing. I've mm -hmm. made too many sun dried to you made um <laughs> big sun dried tomato pesto pesto penne and ricotta with my... DIY garlic bread and balsamic rose tomato one. <laughs> this isn't my first rodeo. Fine. That's why I like non meats, because meats you dry them out if you, mm -hmm. if you mess it up, but everything else is so forgiving. It smells so good. Right? Mm -hmm. We gotta keep an eye on this. That's it's, it's five to seven minutes. About. Five to seven. Okay, so four fifty right now. I think it's gone salt. You taste it? Let me know. Mmm. Tasty. So we'll do some pepper. pepper. But do you? Okay, I think your salt is fine. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Oh, this is so good. I know. Oh, happy fresh. Fresh. Transferring that to our safe safe pan. We're we gonna go to Paula. Paula. We're doing this We're together doing, again. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I hate these tomatoes. Oh, this looks professional. This honestly does. Nice. Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh kind of killed been, with this one. We've been through a rough road <laughs> in the end. But we made it. Yeah. Okay, fine. We trusted the process, Hello Fresh, and it paid yeah. off. Yeah, okay. Rub it in. Looks really good. <laughs> it actually does. Looks killer. All right. All right. 
right, six to eight minutes. Should so the bit. ricotta be melted a little more, you think? Or no, I don't think ricotta melts. Okay. I thought those were this whole deal. Let's do it. <laughs> We've waited Okay. <laughs> the grand reveal. Ooh. It's gonna be the heaven music right now. Ooh. Look at that. That looks that so looks good. Profesh. Just like that, folks. Look at that. We are finally done. Now it's time for the taste, taste test. test. Yeah, we forgot the glaze on top, but that's okay. Time to taste test. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready? Cheers. Cheers. It's a good work. Not bad. That's pretty fire. The tomato's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I thought they were gonna be worse. Not loud, it works with everything. Mm -hmm. The ricotta could use probably a bit more salt. This is very much like mm. something I would order. No, this is delicious. Yeah. If I got this in a restaurant, I'd be pretty happy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna oh, yeah, try, try the garlic bread. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Classic garlic bread. Mmm. Even more garlic and basil. Yeah. Overall, I'm pretty impressed. I give it a 9 out of 10. The only thing, the only downside is it took way longer than advertised, and then mm -hmm. the butter. And there's two of us. And there's a... I think I slowed it down. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I would 100% make this again. Yeah, wow, hello fresh. Yeah, nine out of 10 for me. Yeah. Very good, very, it was kind of fun. Yeah. N minimal prep work, even mm -hmm. though there was prep work. A very satisfying meal. Not yeah. just like something that's like, ah, you know, so you expect, expect for like boxed food. Mm -hmm. Like. Very good. And I would never make this good. on my own. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie. So if anyone's looking for a good pasta recipe, mm -hmm. this is it. This is not a sponsor. Mm -mm. So you know it's real. But I fresh if you want to sponsor us, please reach out. We'll keep doing these. Yeah, we'll, keep, we'll try out all your recipes if you ask us to. If you ask us nicely. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. This is great. I'm gonna enjoy a nice meal. Yeah. This is amazing. Thank you so much, HelloFresh. Thank you everyone for watching this far. Nine out of 10 also because the title is like 17 million words. <laughs> yeah. But if you get the baked sun-dried tomato <laughs> pesto penne and ricotta with DIY garlic bread and balsamic <laughs> roasted tomatoes, you're getting a nine out of 10 meal. Exactly. Not gonna lie. Yeah. So thanks for watching us cook together for the first time. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. The if, first of many more. Maybe. The first of many more. Not the first time in this kitchen. If you want to check all those out, go ahead. We've got a whole bunch of them. They'll be linked somewhere. But yeah, until we see you next time, thanks for stopping by.